With no calculator, can you compute the value of 1013 squared minus 1012 squared? Pause the video for a moment, see if you can figure it out, and then hit play when you're ready for the solution. This problem's kind of intimidating because without a calculator, you're probably thinking, how the heck am I gonna do this? At least how am I gonna do this without a lot of work? But there's a trick. The trick relies noticing a pattern here that you've probably learned in algebra. Let me show you what I mean. If we have x squared minus y squared, you may remember this being called the difference of squares. It's a standard form you're looking for in algebra problems. We can factor the difference of squares into x minus y times x plus y. You probably saw that a million times in an algebra class. So what? We'll take a look at the problem that we're dealing with right here. My x, so to speak, is 1013, 1013. My y, so to speak, is 1012. So I have right here x squared minus y squared. It's just with numbers. So what I can do is I can factor this expression. So I can write this as 1013 minus 1012. See, that's the x minus y times 1013 plus 1012. That's the x plus y, right? So take a look one quick second and see what I mean. This is the pattern we established. This is a difference of squares. I can factor it just like this. Well, now I've got two really easy arithmetic problems to solve instead of having to square these big numbers. 1013 minus 1012, that's just one. 1013 plus 1012, well, that maybe takes a moment here, but that's 2025. So really to get this answer figured out, all all I have to do is one times 2025, which is of course 2025. And so the moral of this story is there's no time like the present to learn a good math trick. Now, if you like solving problems like this, make sure you smash that like or subscribe button so that you can be notified when we post more fun content. That's this week's Think Fast. We'll see you next week.